we're going to be taking a look at is an air pump by a company called Flextail. They reached out to me a few weeks ago, asked me if I'd be interested in doing a review of their product. I checked out their website, took a look at it. It did seem like it's a very interesting product. It's a, kind of a micro air pump made for hiking, but I noticed that they did have uh, quite a few accessories to go with it. So I hit them back, said I'd be glad to take a look at it for them, asked if they'd throw in some accessories for me to check out also. And they agreed and sent it on. So we're gonna open this box, see what they sent me, and we're gonna put some of the stuff to the test. See if this is a product worth using, if it's worth the money, or you know if it's, uh, if it's a dud. But either way, let's go ahead, open this box up, and see what's inside. So when they shipped this product out, I was kind of expecting this to show up in just a few days, but they actually shipped this from, um, from China instead of just from their Amazon site or their affiliate site. So this thing uh, tracked it everywhere uh, before it got here and it just showed up the other day and uh, I've been waiting to open this up. All right, so there is a, a good amount of stuff in here. So let's see, we got, um, got the air pump itself. We have this globe looking thing, which I'm um, assuming it's a, like a silicone globe. Go ahead and open this up. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a soft silicone globe. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but this does happen to have a, uh, a light on it. And check this out, see what this is. All right, so this looks like um, silicone case for the air pump itself. That's kind of cool. Never can have enough protection these days. What else we got in here? All right, I'll go ahead and set this box out of the way. Yeah, and I was really hoping they would save these or send them. Uh, these are, looks like vacuum storage bags. And we'll take a look at these in just a second. All right, so let's go ahead, open this up and check out this pump. Okay, so it's pretty well packaged, uh, it seems like. We've got a little guide right here that tells you how to run it in a few different languages. And let's see, a little bag to put it in. These things are kind of cheesy, everybody uses these. I see these a lot. Uh, with the audio equipment I buy, almost everything you buy, like uh, microphones, like lav mics and stuff like that, they always send these kind of little bags. Personally, um, I mean, they're okay, but I'd rather just use a little waterproof bag. Let's check out the air pump itself. I mean, that thing, look at that, that's small. Wow. And it looks like we got some adapters in here. Just about everything you could want. Well, probably shouldn't have pulled that out of there. It looks like that is for the vacuum bag, so we'll put that back together. <laughs> so yeah, a bunch of adapters it looks like. So we'll put these back in here and uh, fool around with these later. I'm going to probably use my air mattress here uh, my static V, now it doesn't take a whole lot to um, air that thing up to begin with, but still, it'll it'll be worth checking out. So this right here uh, has a little ring on it. I wish it was actually like a split ring for hanging it. I'm assuming that's because of the light. On the front, we have a button and a charging port. So USB-C, that's good. Uh, I'm glad everybody's getting away from USB-A and getting over to USB-C. It makes uh, cable management a whole lot easier. And let's take a look at this. So I think if you hold it down once, it turns on the light and then it lets you cycle through the lights. Yeah, it's pretty bright. We'll check 
back with that in a second. And if you double click it, it'll turn on the actual air pump itself. simple enough. So on the side here, there's just a little indicator letting you know which way the airflow is going to go in. Obviously suction, and this one's uh, going to be your blower. So we'll go ahead and uh, charge this thing up and then come back and take a look and see what it could do. Okay guys, so now that we got it charged up, I guess the first thing we'll try out is this storage bag. Now it says it saves up to 80% space, helps protect against uh, the outdoors, insects, water, and mildew. I'm wondering how many they sent. So it looks like four pieces. We'll go ahead and open this up and uh, see what's inside. Try not to actually cut the bags inside. It would have been funny if they'd sent it in a resealable bag. Resealable bags inside of a resealable bag. I do apologize about the noise. This uh, kind of plastic stuff always makes quite a bit of noise. All right, so these are actually some pretty good sized bags. Let's set these out of the way so we can take a good look at one. Wow. All right. So, yeah, that's actually um, a little bit bigger than I thought. Get some table space here. So this is a medium bag, 70 centimeters, 28 by 20 inches. And I was not expecting these to be quite that size. Now, I didn't take a hard look at the specs when I was going over this on their website, but I thought they were going to be much smaller. Yeah, I'm not complaining. That's a good thing. So, okay, you know, we've got our little, little valve thing here. And it's got the, the little vacuum valve in there. So when you take your vacuum off, it uh, doesn't let any air back in. And then we have the resealable in here, which I just took the cap off on. Nice one, Patrick. Okay, no harm, no foul. That is just a sealer and it uh, doesn't look like it has to be on there. So let's go ahead and see how much space we can save. Now I have, uh, unfortunately, I can't do a whole lot here. I wouldn't want to put a sleeping bag in here. Um, but I do have a change of clothes, just some hiking pants. This may not be a very bad idea at all because I do have good bit of clothes from when I used to hike more often that are actually in really good shape that do not fit me anymore because about a year ago I was injured on the job and messed myself up pretty good. I actually just recently had back surgery to help try and correct the issue but in that time with all the immobility from it uh, packed on quite a bit of weight because I found out while I was sitting around not doing much and limited in my abilities that I was actually a pretty good cook. All right, so let's go ahead and we'll seal this up. All right, now let's uh, go ahead, run through our attachments or find the right one said they give you a bunch of attachments. If that bag's going to be good for anything, that's what it's going to be. When all else fails, read the directions. Am I right? Okay. Simpler than I thought. All right, so let's seal this up and uh, see what we can do here. So we have... Go ahead. 
thread that on. Go ahead and smush that down on there. And it's fired up. It's like an itty bitty seal -a mill. All right. All right, let's set this to the side. I mean, it's definitely collapsed this down. I don't think it's really taken too much air out of it. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Now, it doesn't take out as much air as I thought it did. Maybe we can get a little bit more out of here. But I do like that. Like I said, this could come in handy for a whole bunch of stuff. Pretty strong for its size, too. Okay. It's not leaking. That's good. I think we got a little bit more air out of there. So yeah, that does compress it down more. Um, as far as this being something to slide into your backpack to save more space, I really don't know how realistic that would be because you still have obviously all this excess plastic and any tiny puncture will definitely let the air back in there. But you are just looking to store some of your gear, make sure, you know, oxygen and moisture doesn't get to it. Now I'd throw one of those silicone packs in there, use this and just throw it in a tub and you're good to go. Yeah, so uh, definitely good for storing things. Uh, how well it would work in, a, in your pack, I don't know, but if you got some camping gear you're not gonna be using for a while fabric wise and you needed to uh, seal it up, this would probably be uh, the way to go. All right, so let's set this to the side and let's see what else this thing can do. All right, uh, the old Climate Static V. I have a love-hate relationship with Climate. Um, Static V, this is great if you're a side sleeper, but they put out this light uh, a few years ago <laughs> That thing, uh, it was an inflatable tube light, and it was just terrible. I had never, never come across anything that irritated me more than that tube light. Some people, they swear by it, but um, yeah, I, I can't get behind it. All right, so plug that little guy on there. As a matter of fact, we'll go ahead and uh, snug that in real good get this rubber tip on here and away we go this is always one of my favorite things when I'm out hiking is airing up my uh, little air pad I am gonna get an insulated one though I think um, doesn't really get that cold down here in the south, but sometimes when you're on the ground, it doesn't matter how hot it is outside at night, it's still going to suck the heat out of your body and uh, make you wake up sore. So, all right, let's go ahead and lock this little dude down. So I aired that up, no problems. I mean, 
to be fair. Uh, you know, it doesn't take much to air up a climate static V. It's about 10 breaths, but still it's a cool little device. Um, they say you can use this kind of like fan of fire. I really have no intention of trying that, but I think with all the adapters and everything, it is pretty cool. We'll go ahead and check out the light next, see what that's about, see how well it works, and uh, come back with some final thoughts. Now the soft cover is a nice touch. I do like that. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just a little bit of drop protection, but um, you know, it's pretty hard plastic. If you drop this, it hit a rock, probably gonna have an issue. I mean, probably not gonna have too much of an issue with dropping one of these if you're out on the trail or out camping, because it's probably gonna fall inside your tent or something like that. And um, you know, if it's in there, it's more than likely gonna land on something soft unless it's your noggin. So, um, but it is a nice touch. It does cover up the, um, the light ring just a little bit, but not too terrible. All right, so with that being said, let's go ahead and check out the uh, little globe feature here and, uh, or the lantern feature and see how well that works. And then we'll uh, do some final thoughts and wrap up this video. Now, before we attach the lantern, I think it's worth noting that on the inside of this, there's actually a little raised piece that's made to fit right inside of here. So let's go ahead and uh, put this in here. We'll get this attached and then we'll cut the lights out and check this choker out. So now that we have everything attached, let's go ahead and turn the lights off and see how well this looks. So first it's on there very steady. It's not going anywhere for sure. You're not gonna have to worry about this falling off, but it does give you enough wiggle room to go in here and play with the settings. And we'll cycle that up to high. Now, if you follow my channel for a while, you know I am uh, not a fan of harsh lights. Uh, it does have its place, don't get me wrong, if I need to see something, or if I uh, really need to concentrate and get some work done, uh, headlamps are, I feel, the best way to go. But past that, I'm a huge fan of warm and diffused light when I'm camping. It's very relaxing and it's not intrusive. Uh, bright white lights, high color temperatures, it just really takes away from the camping experience for me. So that's why I like the, uh, the soft white. Now adding this layer of diffusion helps that out even more. It's definitely bright enough that you could get some work done with it. If you're inside your tent, you're definitely gonna be able to see what you're doing. Uh, no problems there, but uh, it's also diffused enough to where it's not going to be harsh on your eyes. I would not recommend putting it on high when you just wake up in the morning time or in the middle of the night if you have to go outside to, you know, do whatever. But uh, definitely, definitely bright enough. Very nice light. Another cool feature about the flex tail is that it has a magnetic base. So I think we've went over just about everything we need to go over. Let's go ahead and uh, kick the lights back on. We'll go over this and I'll give you my final thoughts on this uh, little air pump. Let's go ahead and wrap this up. First of all, my recommendation on this is gonna be a bit cryptic and I apologize for that. The company Flextail seems to have been around for a while. They have a few different products out on the market and they seem to have sold a lot of them with very few complaints. So I have nothing bad to say about the company itself. The product itself is very nice. It does what it says it will do. It's good with the vacuum bags. The lantern is nice. The inflatable is nice. It charges up, it holds a charge for a while. And as far as the testing I've done so far, it seems like a very nice product. As far as durability goes, only time will tell. Now, some of the things that I wish the company did was to provide some of these accessories with the air pump itself. All of this is standalone products that are bought as accessories. Maybe throw the lampshade in or the cover, um, but that's my personal opinion. As far as the vacuum bags go, I don't see them being very useful as far as on the trail storage, but possibly at home. Um, but the good thing is, is that you're not necessarily married to this system right here. With all the adapters that you have, any kind of vacuum bag out there, you probably have an adapter in here to fit it that's going to suit your needs maybe a little better than this. 
all in all, it really boils down to how often the end user is going to use this and how much you're willing to spend. This unit's $39. It's not that expensive as far as hiking gear goes, but it's still $39. And to some people, including myself, that's still a good chunk of change. For me, I would probably only use this to air up one or two things that I could easily do manually by myself. But if you're going to be in charge of airing up a lot of things or a lot of different kind of inflatables, or you have breathing problems, COPD, or you're asthmatic, this could be a very good investment, or it could be a very good gift for somebody in that position. Now, I know that's not necessarily what you want to hear. You probably want to hear, yes, this is good, or no, this is bad. But that's the best answer I can give you. It's a good company. The product works. It is useful, but how often are you going to use it? Anyway, with that cryptic message, my name is Patrick with Uncle Bill's Camping. Thank you for stopping by to check out my videos, and I will see you fine people the next time around.